Hi there. I wanted to come on and just talk briefly about credit scores and your credit report. We get loads of questions around this. So I thought I'd just make sure we explain exactly what it is and how to make sure you have a healthy one. So think of your credit score as a financial passport. The better your score, the wider the doors open for you. Whether it's applying for a mortgage, securing a loan, or getting that credit card with the rewards you've been eyeing. So how do we boost this all important number? First, let's talk about consistency. Paying your bills on time every time is like hitting the gym regularly for your credit score, essential for its health. Make sure you set up a direct debit for the minimum payments so that you can ensure you never miss a date. There were over 1 million county court judgments last year, a lot of them for small amounts. So, for example, mobile phone bills and the like for about 30 to 50, 75 pounds. That's all. It's not that people didn't have the money. They just didn't think it was important to pay it on time. And a lot of these companies are very quick at putting a mark against you on a credit report, which can affect when you apply for a mortgage. So next, let's tackle the credit utilisation ratio. Fancy words for just basically not maxing out your credit cards. Keeping your spending below 30% of your available credit is a good rule of thumb. It shows lenders you're not overly reliant on credit. Much like not filling your plate too high at a buffet shows self-restraint, something I've never actually been able to do. Now on to credit history. The longer the better. It gives lenders a glimpse into your financial reliability. Think of it as your financial CV. Sometimes keeping old accounts open can help as long as they're not costing you money. It's like holding on to a good pair of jeans that never go out of style. Again, something I know nothing about. If you don't have a credit profile, then it could be good to get a credit card. Make sure you set up that direct debit so you know that you're paying off that minimum amount each month and then use it sparingly, maybe on groceries, maybe on the odd thing here and there, and then pay it back. From a lending perspective, they can see that in effect what you're doing is borrowing money and paying it back, borrowing money and paying it back. And that can help build your credit rating quite quickly. Other tips include making sure you're registered on the voters roll, especially if you've moved around a bit. And lastly, regularly check your credit report. It's your right and it allows you to spot any errors or fraudulent activities that could be dragging your score down. You'll be surprised how many times we find things on credit reports that the owners know nothing about and they've been victims of fraud. Think of it as checking your teeth in the mirror. You wouldn't want to walk around with some food in your teeth all day, and you certainly don't want inaccuracies on your credit report. I hope that's helped. If you've got any questions, just drop me a line and ask.